Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Before we get going, if the old phone camera screen does that silly thing that it's been doing lately, I do apologise, so if I do that, that's what it's all about. Anyway, let's crack on with what we've got now. We've got another beer review for you all, and this one was sent in from my good mate Dean, from Dean's Beer Reviews, and it's a new brewery to me, and it's from the Abbey Brewery, Somerset, and this is a bottle of their Bath Best Bitter, coming in at 4%. It's in a 500ml bottle. I do like a bitter. Never had anything from these guys, like I said. And this has won Gold 2020 in Taste of the West Awards or something. So it's obviously a regional sort of competition, but it won Gold this year. So hopefully it's going to be decent. So if we're having a bitter, we've got to have the old dimple glass. So let's get it cracked open, get it into a glass and see what we get. Plain black bottle cap, by the way. Quite a nice old school sort of label. So let's get cracking. I do apologise, the window is open, it is raining here, so if you do hear that in the background, or shall I pause it? Shall I pause it? I'll pause it. There we go. All done, I've shut it. You may well still hear it, I don't know. Beer open, let's get into a glass. So like I say, this was sent in to me from Dean, uh, at Dean's Beer Reviews. So if you haven't checked out his channel, go and check the man out. Cracking reviewer and a lovely all-round top guy. Don't think I'm going to get it all in there. So this is looking nice in a glass. A nice bit of gentle carbonation going up. It's just steady going up. It's a hazy sort of, almost sort of caramel sort of copper colour. We've got a good half a finger of compact, slightly off white head, but it looks decent. I like that haziness about it. So hopefully this is going to be a lovely one. I will try and give her a, a slight swirl. And we'll dive in and give it a sniff. And there we go. The older uh, thing's done its bloody fading thing. I don't know what to do. Anyone out there, if you're actually recording yourself and your camera starts to fade and does all this shit, if you know how to get rid of it, tell me. Please let me know. Anyway, let's go in with a sniff. Oh, lovely, yeah. Malty. Yes, you get the malt. But there's a big sort of toffee toffee hit in there slightly sweet a little bit of a, a hoppy aroma in the background behind that toffee sort of aroma maybe a little bit sort of that hedgerow thing going on but not not massively it's sort of mostly sort of toffee but it smells really nice it's got a warming aroma as well so without further ado let's dive in give it a taste cheers Dean and cheers everyone else Oh, that's lovely. That really is lovely. Yeah. To people out there that like all their New England IPAs and all that, you know, you know, the new Fandag and stuff, it might not be up your street. For people who like old school, this is nice. Quite a nice body for a 4% beer. Gentle carbonation, quite a nice sort of mouthfeel. It's quite smooth. Taste wise, it starts off sweet. That first sort of taste is, is reasonably sweet, reasonably malty. Again, you still get that. But the hops come to the forefront and then you really start sort of getting that, that bitter feel to it. Hops are there, it, it's malty. The sweetness is sort of like dying off a little bit. Typical sort of bitter ale kind of hops in this. You're getting that hedgerow kind of thing going on, that fruitiness. Drinks really easy. Taking that mouthful then, as it's going in, and you concentrate on what you're drinking if you like, you get that little gentle sweetness as it's touching you and then that sort of goes and that's where all the like the hoppy bitterness comes in drinks very nice it's got that typical bitter bitterness if that makes any sense i mean it's exactly what you'd expect from a best bitter for me 
Could it be a little bit better? Excuse me again. It could be a little bit better. Could maybe be a little bit more fuller. Even maybe just a tad sweeter. But let's be honest, it's 4%. Still has a good uh, body for 4%. A little bit more sweetness maybe might improve it, improve it. But overall, this is a decent bitter. Goes down really well. And it's, it's, it's just as I recall bitters from years ago. Uh, so for me, the Abbey Brewery Somerset and their Bath Best Bitter, it's a nice little drop. Yeah, it's not going to appeal maybe to you ones out there that love all your craft beer, but if you like your old school, your traditional kind of stuff, this is, it's the spot, and I'd recommend it. Would I drink it again? I'd drink that again. There's an awful lot worse than this out there. So uh, that's it for this beer review. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. A big thank you to Dean for sending it to me. Cheers, pal. A big thank you to all of you watching. Uh, if you've not subscribed, feel free, feel free to subscribe, like and share the video and all that malarkey. I'm going to leave you in peace now because it's a Saturday evening. You go and enjoy your weekend. I'm going to go and sit down with the missus, have a drink, watch it on TV, eat me tea and just more. So thank you all for watching, like I say, and I'll see you on another beer review. Cheers.